USB-C products are in full swing in 2019. Today I have the Aki USB-C PD charger capable of 18 watts from this very small package. Thanks to Aki for sending it to me to take a closer look at. So the specs on this thing are it's got one USB-C port. It can output USB-C 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, 12 volts at 1.5 amps. It can take 100 to 240 volts at 50, 60 kilohertz, sorry, hertz. It's a 1.42 inches by 1.42 inches um, by 1.2 inches wide. It weighs 1.5 ounces and the prongs fold. Packaging on this thing is very minimal. It's just this little cardboard box with the picture of the charger on top. It says, uh, it says what color it is here. Go green with Aki and on the back, their address and a serial number. Inside the charger sits there. Inside you've got the little user manual and a little 24 month warranty card. So the construction of the charger, it is made of gloss plastic. And yeah, I'm one of those people that leave the uh, protective plastic on to prevent scratches a lot of times. And I've done that on this one as well. Um, it's pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. One of the nice things I like here is it is cut out here to fold the uh, charging plugs in there, really nice. On the back here, you've got all the power ratings that I read off and all the certifications that it has. And I do like that that PD port in there is green. That's uh, not something all chargers have. This is a pretty standard design. Other chargers do this. Um, everything's rounded on the edges except the front, which is square, and this side, which is square as well. Little indication of size here. Here it is against the dollar bill. And comparing it to a few other chargers, here is the Energy 60 watt USB C PD charger. Very similar in uh, diameter to the Aki, it's just a little taller. Uh, width wise, they're very close. Uh, the Energy is quite a bit longer, as you can see here, but that Energy is a 60 watt charger versus the Aki's only 18. The big difference between these two is the price. That Energy is give or take around $100, the Aki's maybe 20. So you have to pay a ton for a lot more power with the energy than you do the Aki. Here is an Apple charger. This came with my current generation um, iPad and it's a 12 watt USB, -C, USB power adapter. It's not USB-C, but this is a charger a lot of iPhone users and iPad owners are familiar with. So I decided to bring it out and it does also have the folding chargers or plugs, so you can get a, get a kind of idea of the size of the thing. One nice thing to take a look at here on the charger is that when you plug into an outlet, it does not block the other outlet. You've got plenty of room. I can even reverse it and you've still got plenty of room to plug in another plug there on the top. So I used my Charger Lab Z power meter software to show uh, power stability and it was pretty good. It varied a little bit uh, on the top end but it was all within uh, 0 0.010 volts. I was able to pull a little over the amperage this thing's rated for, 3 amps, for a short time, but the charger wasn't the happiest, and uh, it's not a range it's designed for. So kind of hard to tell here, but I've got the Aki charger hooked up to my Aki power bank that I reviewed not too long ago. Um, it's just really hard to get a good angle on this uh, kilowatt since it has the power coming out of the back of it. But it is showing 20 watts charging here. Um, it's rated for 18 watts, so it's got a little bit of loss there due to power conversion. But, uh, you know, it, it charges, sits here and charges what it says it does. Um, I had no problems there. My USB-C testing equipment is a little hard to get figured out yet because it is all in Chinese and uh, I'm getting that all figured out. But uh, this is a good little charger for USB-C PD under 20 watts. My conclusion is while the Aki USB-C PD 18 watt charger for me performed well, it's not the latest and greatest technology. I would have loved to see Aki use gallium nitride like the energy charger does here or the new anchor charger does. Uh, it would increase the power efficiency while reducing size. Don't get me wrong, this is plenty small for 18 watts. Um, remember the Apple charger is only 12 here and it's larger. And this is at a really fair price point. Most of the time, uh, this is $20 or under with coupons. This would be a good charger 
to get if you're looking to replace your stock charger that came with your smartphone or tablet, but not looking to go larger or needing more power um, to charge like a laptop or something like that. This may charge your laptop if it allows a trickle charge. Mine won't charge at uh, 18 watts, it needs more than that. And if it does trickle charge, just expect it to take longer to fully charge up. In my opinion, this would make a good second charger, one to have at your office or your desk to use with most devices. I do have reservations about recommending this for a travel charger since it only has one port and most people would have more than one device when traveling, but those folding prongs does make it really portable, really small. So maybe this is in your carry-on and your bigger chargers in your checked bag or something like that. That said, this is a good charger and I think it'd be worth considering, especially if there happens to be a sale at the time. It'd work great for phones, Nintendo Switches, iPads, and most power banks. As always guys, please check the description if I have any coupons or anything like that. They'll be in the link below. And as always, thanks for liking these videos and subscribing to my channel as they help me bring more content like this to you soon. Make sure you're subscribed because I'll have some flashlight content coming up here soon.